Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off your hot and cold water supplies. In this video we're going to show you how to change out the Samsung washer drain pump. It's going to be a very easy repair and it should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new drain pump. The drain pump is what drains the wastewater out of the washing machine. The main reason to be changing it out is if the impeller or the motor is bad and it's not draining, or the body is cracked and you're getting water on the floor. The part is located at the back of the washer. In order to get access to it, we're going to remove the panel. We're going to take out the four screws with our Phillips screwdriver. Now that we have the screws out, we can lift the panel out. First thing you're going to do is lift up on it and then grab the bottom and pull out on it. And then pull the panel off and set it aside. Now that we have the access panel off, we're going to take the tub and push it over diagonally into the other corner. And then we're going to put a piece of wood in between the tub and the frame to hold it over there so it's out of the way while we pull the hoses off the pump body and the pump assembly out. Now that we have the tub out of the way, we can throw a towel down. There's going to be some water that comes out of this while we're taking the hoses off. So make sure you put a towel down to catch it all. And then we're going to take our pliers and remove the two clamps that hold the hoses. We're going to do them one at a time, but uh, we're just going to go ahead and compress them and move them up the hoses so we can remove them. Once you have the first one done, we can go ahead and do the second one. Now that we have the hoses off, we can reach in with our Phillips screwdriver and remove the screws that hold it in. Once you have the rear screw out, we can lift the pump out. We do have to pull it out of this little ru gray rubber support. We don't have to take the support off, but we do have to slide this little tab out. You can uh, reach in there with a the screwdriver if you have to and push it off. And once you have it free, we can lift the assembly up so we can take the wires off. We're going to turn it over and use our needle nose. We have to disconnect this little wire harness holder from the pump foot. All you have to do is reach in with your needle nose and compress it and push it through the other side. Once you have it out, then we can lift the pump out a little bit. We got to rotate it over and pull this wire harness out through here so we get a little extra slack. And we can lift it up and set it on the lip of the machine right here so we can disconnect the wires. When you're taking this thing out, make sure you don't lose these two metal washers. There's one on each foot. They should be held in there with a little bit of glue, but if they fall off, make sure you pick them up so you don't lose them. And we can rotate the pump over, and we're going to take this cover off. All you have to do is get underneath it with a small screwdriver, flathead, and release this tab. And then you can the whole cover off and set it aside. With the cover out of the way we can disconnect the wires. You want to remember that the black one was on the vertical and the yellow one was on the horizontal connection. All you have to do is pull them off. Once you have the wires disconnected we can pull the assembly out of the washer. Now that we have the assembly out of the washer we have to take it apart. First thing we're going to do is remove the bracket with the rubber feet on. It's held on by two Phillips screws, which we're going to use our screwdriver to take them out. Once you have that second screw loose, all you have to do is pull it out with the bracket and set it aside. With the bracket out of the way, we can separate the two halves of the pump. 
has two screws in it also. We're going to use the Phillips screwdriver to take them out. Once you have the screws removed, we can pull the pump assembly apart. Here's the old drain pump next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. To put the pump assembly back together, we're going to line the two halves up. And we want to make sure that the motor is on this side and the, the drain line where the check valve is, is on the top. And then we're going to line these two holes up here with these two holes and push it back into place. It should go on so the, the manufacturing line is right here at uh, right next to this hole. Once you have it lined up, we can put the screws back in and use a, the Phillips screwdriver to tighten them down. Now that we have those two screws back on, we can put the bracket back on. In order to do that, we're going to put it on just like we took it off with the screw already in the hole because it's really hard to drop it down in there and line it up. To make sure you have the bracket lined up correctly, there's a tab right here on the motor body. And then on the bracket, there's a small little hole right next to the screw where it has to go. So once you line up the screw so it goes down in the hole, the tab should line up and go right into place. Once you have it in, we can use our screwdriver to tighten down the screw. And then we can put the other screw in. Now that we have the assembly put back together, we can put it back into the washer. First thing we're going to do to put the assembly back in is reach in and grab the wire harness and reconnect the wires. Remember the black was on the vertical one and the yellow was on the horizontal. All you have to do is push them on so they lock in place. Once you have them on there, we can put the cover back on. All you have to do is put this end on first and then rotate it back over the wire connectors. Once you have it snapped in place, we're going to rotate it over and the wire is a little tight, but we'll have to come back around and get it into that retainer hole right there, the, bre the little retainer. Once you have it snapped into place, you can slide the pump assembly over so we can put the screws on. But first we need to slide that tab into the little rubber support. So just get it lined up and push it into place. You might have to reach in and use your hand. Once you have that in place, then we can slide the pump over and make sure it's in the right spot so we can put the bolts in. To put the bolts in, we're going to just drop them down into the little rubber grommets and use our Phillips screwdriver to tighten them down. Now that we have the assembly secure, we can reattach the hoses. All we have to do is line this tab up. Each hose has a little notch that goes with the tab. Uh, once you have that lined up, all you have to do is push it down into place. Make sure they bottom out all the way and the two are right next to each other. Once you have it all the way down, we're going to grab our pliers and move the clamp down. You want to put it right in between these two lines so you get a good seal. If your pliers is not wide enough to grab this thing, we can move it down and get it to this point, and that'll make it a little bit narrower. And then we can reach in with our pliers and compress it all the way so we can move it all the way down. Once you have this one on, we can do the other. Once you have both clamps moved down, you can remove the block of wood and the towel. Now we can put the back panel on. First thing we're going to do is put the upper tabs in, and you have to push it up as far as you can get it to go, and then push the bottom in, 
and these tabs right here will go in as you lower the panel down. Once it drops down, the screw hole should line up and we can use our Phillips screwdriver to put the screws back in. Now that we have the part installed, we can plug it back in, turn the water back on, and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.